Hong Kong on an early Wednesday evening and everyone seems to be converging on this part of town. Up to 30,000 people in all just to engage in their favourite vice, betting on horses. The Jockey Club, a non-profit making institution, controls all activities connected to horse racing, which apart from twice weekly lotteries is the only legal form of gambling in the British colony. Security is tight as punters line up for a night of betting. Night racing began in 1973 at Happy Valley, two years after the introduction of professional riders. And only five years before Hong Kong has returned to China, what was once a mere pastime on an occasional Saturday has become one of the world's most advanced and lucrative leisure pursuits. Horse racing thrives as an integral part of Hong Kong, a community caught between its communist motherland and its colonial past. On grandstands like ocean liners, punters are on a pleasure cruise with a difference. A meeting place for the territory's army of entrepreneurs, for whom a night at the races is not so much a sport as an investment. More money is made and lost in one race meeting here than in a day at all of Britain's 64 race courses. Yet Hong Kong has no breeder industry. Horses are imported from Europe, Australia, New Zealand and North America. Not the world's best horses, but the world's best racing is what Hong Kong is promoting. And even today, Hong Kong's peculiar historical and political circumstances are reflected in its cosmopolitan gatherings. Judging by the sheer size of its crowds, the Happy Valley city track has a promising future, no matter what happens after 1997. Hong Kong Chinese are too serious about their gambling to give up such a thriving activity. Behind these hills, more than 100 hectares of land were reclaimed from Sha Tin Bay to build this race course. The operation involved lopping off mountain tops and shifting earth, one lorry fall every eight and a half seconds around the clock. It took less than five years to complete the racing complex, which was officially opened in 78. Fourteen years later, Sha Tin retains its claim as the world's most modern racing facility. The Jockey Club, which has been donating its surplus earnings to community and charitable projects since 1915, is now the second largest employer in Hong Kong, after the government. The sums involved are vast. For behind the glamour once associated with horse racing, there's always been a tough determination to win. A determination shared by all those who attend, tens of thousands of them most Saturdays and on occasional Sundays during the season, whatever the weather. The race meeting is undoubtedly a great show in a great setting. Perhaps because racing in Hong Kong attracts generous prize money. And because the organisers insist that their job is to give people such a good time that they will want to come back. <laughs> For ordinary Chinese, it's serious business. Last season, thanks to their contributions, Hong Kong wagered the highest amount of any racing establishment in the world, the equivalent of about a thousand US dollars for each of the colony's six million inhabitants. It's not just blind gambling either, the locals are well informed. At least they have the satisfaction to know that some of the money they lost has contributed to this and other worthy institutions. It's the acceptable face of gambling. Once it's paid dividends, expenses and its 2% income tax, the jockey club plows back into the community earnings not required for reinvestment. This park is one of the many projects it has helped finance since it set up a subsidiary charities company in 1959. And as gambling generated income has continued to grow, so has the number and variety of projects funded by the club. Betting is a way of life, and not just at the track. There are more than 120 off-course betting parlours provided by the Jockey Club. Last year, the club handled more than 10 million transactions on an average race day, at a rate of 500 bets per second. What came back to the community, 100 million US dollars, was a lot less than was lost by the gamblers of Hong Kong.